Hey guys, it's Steve. So today I'm going to be getting a new exotic meats playlist here on my channel. So I've partnered up with the good folks from FrontierMeats.com to show you guys some exotic meats like uh, boar and bison. And we're going to uh, make all kinds of really cool things. So the first thing we're going to do today is a Texas wild boar French rack. This thing is gonna be awesome, so let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so before we take a look at our French boar rack, we're gonna go ahead and put together a seasoning blend and then a mustard moisturizer. So what I'm gonna be doing today is uh, going to one of my favorite books, the uh, Serious Barbecue book by Adam Perry Lang. He has a recipe in here for a uh, uh, French lamb rack. Uh, so I thought it would uh, you know, translate well onto this boar rack. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, I'll have the recipe up for you on the screen here. So for our seasoning blend, we've got some cayenne, some pepper, some black pepper there, some brown sugar, kosher salt, garlic salt, paprika, and some chili powder. Okay, so all we're going to do is just kind of stir this up real quick. You want to try to mash out as many of those uh, clumps and the brown sugar as possible. So that's good right there. All right, so over here for our mustard moisturizer, we've got uh, some ground mustard. I'm sorry, some whole grain mustard. Okay, some Worcestershire, just some water. And then uh, Lang's recipe calls for thyme leaves but I had some ground thyme, so uh, he calls for one tablespoon, so the conversion on that is about a quarter teaspoon of uh, some ground thyme. Get all that in there. And then all you have to do is we're just going to whisk this up real quick. Okay, and then we're gonna add our seasoning blend and mix that all in together. It's gonna to form this nice little paste here. And it smells awesome. All right, there you go. And we're just gonna set that aside. Okay, now what we're gonna do is put together a herb dressing that we'll use to top the uh, boar rack with when we're all finished and we pull it off the grill. So again, the ingredients are gonna be up on your screen. One of the ingredients is uh, freshly chopped parsley. I had parsley paste in the fridge, so I'm gonna be using that instead. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna take these things and just put them in this mason jar. Got some salt. Lemon zest. That's freshly grated. And then we've got some freshly squeezed lemon juice here. And then we've got some chopped chives. This herb uh, dressing is gonna go great with this board. And then we've got some olive oil. All right. All we're gonna do is just the lid on here and give it a good shake. All right, so hopefully you can see in there. Smells great. And so uh, we're gonna go ahead and just sit, uh, sit this aside. All right, so this is what we've all been waiting for. This is the Frontier Meats uh, Texas Wild Boar French Rack. And so just a couple things I want to tell you. First of all, you can uh, definitely head over to FrontierMeats.com 
to uh, check those guys out and look at all the uh, different types of uh, exotic meats that they provide. This is just one of them. But uh, one of the things that they like to point out is that you know, a lot of times people hear the word wild and they think immediately it's going to taste super gamey. These boar are captured and they raise them on a diet of Texas grasses, acorns, and roots. And so uh, the meat is actually uh, sweet and nutty in flavor and it's also incredibly tender. So you want to make sure, you know, to cook this on the rare to medium rare side. And uh, another great thing is it only has uh, 303 calories and 8.5 grams of saturated fat per four ounce serving. So all they've done here is they've gone ahead and Frenched this uh, center cut loin and wanted to show you something on the back here. Just like with, uh, with any rack, there was a membrane. So I went ahead and removed the membrane. I mean, this meat just is incredibly tender. I mean, it just looks awesome. So all we're gonna do is take our paste that we made up and just rub this thing down, top and bottom. Flip it back over. All right, there we go. So we're gonna go ahead and get our grill fired up while this rests for a bit. All right, so we're cooking on the Rectech pellet grill and I've got it preheated to 250. So the idea here is I'm gonna cook it low and slow over indirect heat at 250 until the internal temp hits about 120, 125. And then I'm gonna crank this thing up to about 500 degrees and I'm gonna be using the grill grates to uh, give a nice little uh, sear uh, on the top right at the end. So let's go ahead and Open up our pellet grill, grill here. Got our awesome looking boar rack. I'm cooking it fat side down. The reason why I like to do that with lean cuts of meat is just so it can protect it from the heat source from below. And then what I'm going to be doing is just putting the probe straight in the thick part of the meat. Just like that. That's all we're going to do. We're gonna go ahead and get this shut, and we'll be back. All right, guys, we have hit a internal temp of 125. Yeah, it's looking awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and just pull this probe out. And what I'm gonna do, is go ahead and pull this and then I'm gonna crank the Rectech up to 500 degrees and then we'll give it a quick sear on our grill grates. All right guys, so we got the Rectech up to about 500 degrees with our grill, grill grate sitting on top. So we're gonna go ahead and slide our rack just right on top. And we're just going to let that go for about two minutes and then flip it and then hit the other side as well. All right, guys, so we have pulled this after the quick sear. And all we're going to do is just take our herb dressing here. And we're just going to let this sit for about 10 minutes. And we'll be back. All right, guys, so I've already cut into this. Let's go ahead and what you want to do is just follow the bone. Just like this, this thing looks absolutely gorgeous. And check that out. Looks so good. Let's go ahead and uh, try this out. Gosh, man, it's so tender. Look how tender that is. Look at that. Mmm. Guys, that is amazing. 
That is so good. Anybody that says uh, using the word uh, wild will throw them off of wanting to try this is sorely mistaken. That is some of the best tasting meat I've had in a while. Amazing flavor, super tender. Guys, definitely check this out. Um, head over to FrontierMeats.com and um, take a look at their offerings and try one of these out. This is going to be a great piece of meat to cook for the holidays coming up, especially Christmas. Um, so yeah, really stoked on this and uh, appreciate you guys watching. Thanks again to Frontier Meats and we'll see you again soon. Yeah.